ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video where I'm going to share my thoughts on the brand, The Honey Pot Company. Recently, I did an online drugstore mini haul where I shared some of my purchases, which included products from the Honey Pot Company brand. The first product that I want to talk about is the Honey Pot Company Sensitive Foaming Wash. That's this product right here. It is plant-based feminine care, no parabens, no dioxides. It's 100% natural. It contains colloidal silver. It's cruelty free, sulfate free, and it says gynecologists love it. This is a 5.51 fluid ounce. The directions for this product say to shake, pump three times, and wash with clean hands. For external use only, avoid contact with eyes. It has lavender, vinegar, and calendula in it, and calendula is a flower. Some things I liked about this product, I like the pump. I like the pump. I like that this is a product that you don't have to put your hand in it to use it. Because to me, even if I just wash my hands, I feel like my hands have some kind of, you know, germs or dirt or something that don't belong in a product. So I like the fact that it's a pump. I like the foamy wash. I guess you could put it on a loofah sponge or a washcloth or whatever, but the directions say to use it with your hands, and so that's how I use it. And it is just simple as that. Shake it up. I'll show you one pump because you know I'm not trying to waste this product. So it's a it's a foam. Yep. Yeah, I mean you gotta you got maybe it's the way I'm holding it, but I had to put a little pressure on it to to get this out. I'm scoop this back in the lid, y'all. I, <laughs> I don't really notice. Now, I do smell the lavender. I do smell that. Uh, this might sound strange, but it feels like almost stripping. Not, um, not in a bad way, but in a way where you know it's working. Like, you know the area is being clean. And so I appreciate that. There was no irritation, no uncomfortable feeling or nothing like that. Um, yep, shake three pumps into your hand and wash. Simple as that. So this is a, a good product. I like it and I will purchase it again. The next two products that I used were the sanitary napkins. So I have the Honey Pot Regular. And I have the Honey Pot Overnight. Both of these are infused pads with wings. They contain mint for cooling, lavender for calming, and aloe for soothing. There's no chlorine, no pesticides, and no fragrances. And again, it's plant-based feminine care. Now for the regular, this has 20 pads. And for the overnight, this has 12 pads. When I first got this, I was wondering how to open it, and I thought I was going to have to, you know, like, separate it like this, but there's actually this tab on it, and you can tell, so when you pull it off, it's made to, like, tear or rip. That way you can tell that nobody's opened the product before you, so I like that. Um, and this is how you get to the pads. The regular are this size, and I, I think this is a good size. I like the fact, you see how the, the pad is in the middle, but you have like extra 
like the wrapper you have extra material for the wrapper this comes in handy because I don't know if this has ever happened to any of you but after you use the pad obviously it is bulkier than what it is before you use it and sometimes the wrapper does not cover the entire pad and so even though you place the the pad in the wrapper of course you're trying to you want the whole pad to be in the wrapper and concealed even though you're throwing it in the trash it kind of sucks when that doesn't happen so i like the fact that there's like extra wrapper material so they understand that when you after you use the pad it's bulkier than before you use it and so you need that extra wrapper material to make sure the entire pad is covered when you throw it away now i'm gonna open this up and here's the tab right here so i'm gonna open this up and just show you all right and this stick so this is the size of the pad it does have wings here and there's a a flap to peel off for the wings and here is like the size of the wing one thing i wish i wish the adhesive for the wing was just um a little bit stronger i haven't had any issues with it i haven't had any um leaks on anything but i wish the adhesive was just a little bit stronger and then you can see so here's let me see so here's the wrapper and then Here's you peel this off and then the adhesive is on the back. So I'm gonna put this back together because I don't I don't want to waste this. But I think this is a nice size. This is regular. Like I said, I haven't had any issues with leaking. Um, I haven't I haven't had any problems. And now we we just gonna put this back because y'all know me. Waste not want not. Mm, and we're gonna fold this up like this zoom and we're gonna fold that down like this zoom now one thing you might all be wondering about the smell you can smell the scent through like the unopened package before you even open it like you can smell it i smell a mint i smell a lavender but i i'm trying to it almost smells like like a, a granny Vicks Vapor Rub, kinda. Like I smell the, the mint and the lavender, but it smells, it smells earthy, like a earthy mint and lavender, not a, a synthetic fragrance. When you put these on, you feel the cool. You do feel the cool and it only takes I'm gonna say less than three minutes and you will feel the cool. You know that the heat from your body is, you know, mixing in with the scent and the the, uh, the ingredients of the pad. Uh, so you definitely feel the cooling effect. To me, it's not overwhelming, but the first time I tried this pad, it was surprising. The smell is there. And when you change your pad, um, the the scent is in your underwear. It's not irritating. It's not uncomfortable or anything like that. So that's this on the regular size honey pot. I also had the overnight size. And again, there's this flap. And like I said, it is made to tear or rip. So you can tell if... The package has been opened uh, previously. This shows the pads on the inside. Here's the size of the overnight pads. And you can see obviously it is larger. There's that extra material. Again, I appreciate that. So the entire bulkier pad can fit inside the wrapper. Just to compare. So here is the regular size and then here is the overnight size. 
I'm going to open this up just so you can see it. And for overnight, obviously, it's much larger. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. And, oh my goodness, okay, so I have to do it sideways. This is a very large pad. <laughs> this is definitely for overnight use. And here you have, so there's tabs up here at the top. And then you can see the, the wings. And then there's, um, this is just like material in the middle. Now this section doesn't have adhesive on it. It's just um, just a, a, a flap or a, a area. But this, this part does not have adhesive on it. And then you have adhesive at the bottom. And this kind of combines with this middle section. It goes all the way down to the bottom. And you can see the adhesive strips right here. Again, I wish the adhesive was a little bit uh, stronger, but I didn't have any problems with leak it, leaking. I didn't have any like issues with that. But y'all look how huge this pad is. This is for the front and then this is for the back. But depending on how your situation is, you can flip it. So this will be the front and this will be the back. You have to do what works for you. Anyway, this pad is huge. The fragrance and the scent is just as noticeable. The cooling effect is just as noticeable. Because y'all know I'm trying to fold this back up while I'm talking. I had uh, the same experience with the with this overnight pad as what I did with the regular one. The cooling sensation is there. The lavender and mint. The fragrance, the scent is there. Um, this was also noticeable by a person that I had sitting next to me. Um, but I bet it is than the contents of the pad once you use it. Am I right? So these are the three products from Honey Pot that I have tried. This is the Feminine Wash, and I did get the Sensitive Refresh version. I think there's a regular version, but I got Sensitive because I just wanted to start out and try the like the lowest level, the most gentle product. This is the regular size pad. Again, I had full coverage, I had no leakage. Um, the only thing I wish is that the wing adhesive would be a bit stronger, but I didn't have any issues with it. And then the whopping overnight pad, which, uh, you know, I'm not sure what size underwear you would have to wear to not get full coverage on this. Um, oh, one thing I forgot, so this pad lasted me a full night a whole night so like eight to ten hours no leakage no issues nothing at all for these pads i wore these during the daytime i'm a bit more active i'm moving around more so these i have worn up to four hours with no leakage no issues or problems and that's on the heaviest of days and the lightest of days. Um, I can wear these up to four hours before I change them, but I usually change between two and three hours. Again, that's just a, a personal preference. It depends on what I'm doing, how active I am, you know, how the, how the flow is moving. But again, no issues, no leakage. And I would definitely repurchase both of these. I would repurchase both of these again. So that is my review on the Honey Pot Company Feminine Wash Sensitive Version and the regular and the overnight pads with wings. That's all I have for this video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, click that notifications bell, and share with everyone you know. Now, we, we ain't gonna sing today. But share my channel, share my videos with everyone you know. Until next time. Bye.
honey pot, y'all. You, you can smell it. I smell it. It is no smelling it. I, I smell it. They say mint and they say lavender. The mint and the lavender, y'all. That's for sure. Now let's see how we can put these back up in this pack. 